Hey guys, we're going to be playing the Exo Avalon mod today. Pretty exciting. I've never played this mod before. I've seen Shaw Kill and Hero and a couple of other people play this mod. It's been out for like, well, this version of the, the mod's been out for like two months. And yeah, pretty exciting stuff. It's essentially what this mod is. It's just an add on to Terraria. It just adds a bunch of stuff like a hundred new weapons, a bunch of new bosses, like new biomes, new, just a bunch of new crap, right? Just thrown into there. And there's, um, there's a variation of the Crimson Crimson Corruption as well, so it's like a third one. I don't know what it's called or anything like that, but I was genning worlds earlier today to make sure I got it. So I got, I've got one of the worlds up already. So we're just going to jump straight in. So this is going to be a new series. I might be putting this on YouTube. We'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. Um, because yeah, I've, I've never played this. I, I don't know what to expect. I didn't like. I don't even know any re recipes or what I, whatever I'm supposed to be doing. Luckily, I've got Twitch chat by my side. So if anyone like says, "Pedgwin, grab that pineapple over there and make a pineapple sword," then I'll do that, right? So I've got Twitch chat to help me by my side. So should be good, right? Should be good. No hardcore. Um, I won't be playing hardcore because it's my first time playing the mod. I'm not gonna like dive in headfirst and get myself killed. Um, I want to explore the mod. That's why I'm doing this series. Um, so we're do gonna be doing it softcore for the person that asked in chat. So let's uh, let's uh, get straight into it. Let me just um, move some of my things around. I'm just gonna lower this over here. That should be fine. And boom. There we go. Alright. Uh, should be good. Should be good. I think everything is okay on the layout. Chat's there. That's good. Everything seems to be in order. Yep. So. Let's make a character. Let's make a beautiful, 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 beautiful grill. What hair shall we go for? Oh, I like this green hair. Ooh. And softcore. And let's call him a random person from chat. Frozen Fire 5. Just because, you know, Frozen Fire is in chat. Why not? And this world can... Oh, actually, the world has a random seed now. I, I discovered that this... Ran... Uh, the, the seed 7 is... Is a... Uh... It's a variation of the Corruption Crimson. It's not either one of those, but it's a, a new one that comes with the 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 mod. So I discovered that Seed 7 gives you that type of world. So if anyone wants to play alongside me on the same world, you can actually type in Seed 7 and you'll get the exact same world as me. And you can type in any seed. You can type in like a million numbers after that. So it's kind of nice to have a seed system. So that's pretty good. So I'm going to choose seat 7, so if you want to play it alongside me, feel free to. Um, and world... The world... Oh, I didn't mean to press enter then. <laughs> it doesn't matter, the world name's not important, but whatever. The world's called W, big deal. I meant to, I meant to press backspace, oh whatever. That's embarrassing. Or whatever, it's called W, big deal, whatever. Whatever. A world's called W. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to call it Korea, but whatever. Double, w will do. I usually name my worlds after like places and stuff from people in chat. So let's just get in there. If you guys have any, like, uh, guide me, guys, guide me. Oh, we, we spawned in the um, the ice boom. How lovely. I'm just gonna grab wood. I'm just gonna play it as I normally play it. I haven't seen anything out of the ordinary yet. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do is guide. What can I do with wood? I want to see something new. Wow, you can create aglets. You can create aglets from wood and copper. What is this? Torch launcher. Can I launch these at walls? That sounds absolutely hilarious. Fine lumber. I need an anvil to make fine lumber. Okay. Anything else I can make? I need a living loom for that. So that's all I can make with wood. That's the only new stuff I can make with wood. That's cool. What about... No, they're not a material. Well, okay, whatever. Maybe, let's let's have a look at the burial wood. Let's see if we can make anything interesting out of burial wood. This this whole let's play, it's like I'm playing Terraria from the start again. I'm learning. I'm learning everything all over again, because, come on, I'm a Terraria expert. I know everything. Um, nothing, it's just the same sort of stuff, yeah. I, I, I mean, I expected it to be the same sort of stuff, but I wanted to make sure. You never know. You never know, guys. 
Come here. Um, okay, I'm just gonna cut these trees while I kill this thing. Make things a bit easier. Like, two things at once. Double whammy. As far as I'm aware, that mobs can drop different items as well. Like, existing things in this mod do have been upgraded. Alright, so maybe... Oh! Come here, you little sausage. I wanna, I wanted to see... My guide's gonna die. He's right in the middle of the ice biome. Can I make anything from jail? Oh! Is that... I think that's... That's mod... That's from the mod, I'm pretty sure. That's not from original Terraria, I should know. I'm a Terraria expert! Petquin, how do I send fan art, bro? Um, tweet it at me. I'll be sure to tweet it back. And retweet it and stuff like that, you know. I'm just gonna throw... I'm just gonna cut down all these trees. I'm gonna get a nice chunk of wood to start us off. Then we're gonna go digging and exploring and stuff like that. Pedquin, you should do a Wyvern speedrun. Um, hmm. The Wyvern speedrun is kind of... It's not really a boss, you know? And it's kind of... I don't know, it's kind of an iffy one. A lot of them are quite iffy. I wanna, I wanna do the Wall of Flesh again. I want to get like sub 20 minutes wall of flesh. I think that would be insanely impressive. Like if you can beat the wall of flesh in less than 20 minutes. Damn, no one's ever done that before. Oh, there's the new biome. All right. I guess we can go take a look at it. I was going to mine this iron. I guess I'll do it anyway. And then we can go check out the new biome and hopefully not die. Or hope it's not like merged with like... Let's take some of the wood actually. Oh, oh my god. We've just got in the biome and it's already sending crap at us. What is that? Cough wood. Oh, so it's called like cough biome? Parasite? Oh, is this like sickness land? <laughs> is that what this is? No! Oh, it's not actually that strong. It just looks really creepy. I think we might be fine then. Actually, it is pretty strong. What am I talking about? I mean, it doesn't have that much HP. It only has like 50 HP. Yeah, we can kill this thing. It just looks scary. It's not that scary. It's just like a devourer, but spookier. What is this? Oh, it's like the Ebonstone sort of stuff. Ow, this thing hurts. Oh, no! Come on! Yes, we killed it! It didn't even drop anything! I was expecting mad loot from that thing. What the heck? That scared me to death, then. Quack! Quack! That's not the mod, that's actual Terraria. It's one of the developers, they threw it in there. Cheeky developers. I see a chest in there, I think. I do. Alright, hopefully it doesn't send any more stupid devourer lookalikes, that is. There's another chest down there as well. Glow stick. Oh, there's a lot of platinum down there. I actually want that platinum. Because I want to know what I can make with platinum, right? They will drop stuff, so they do drop stuff. Alright, you just gotta get lucky, I guess. What is that? Looks like a... What is it? It's like a... What is this area called? Is it called the cough biome? Is, is it like a... A human sickness? I don't even know if I can get in there, but I'm gonna collect the platinum anyway. Yeah, I don't think I can get over there. I'll have to get to those chests later on. I don't even want to go into this biome. It's a bit spooky for me. I don't have any weapon or anything, though. Alright. See you, nerd. Oh, wow, look at all this cobweb. There's a mushroom biome over there. What is that? Oh, it's the altar to this sort of thing. No, don't send another one at me, please! Alright. Shall we make a uh, sword? Can we make a cough sword? That'd be sick. Oh! Alright, let's make a cough sword. Oh, I can't do it. Yeah, there it is! Cough sword! Haha! -ha, cough wood sword! Now your... Your ass is mine! I wish this sword would like poison him or something, but that'd be probably a bit too OP. Look at that, 10 damage. Get wrecked! Alright, let's keep venturing down while this thing tries to kill us. Someone did say this thing drops good loot, so... Come on. Come on, chicka. Come on. You can do it. I guess it's just pieced out. Should I get this silver? I mean, I usually, like, ignore all ores on a normal playthrough when I... But I feel like 
I could probably make some cool things out of like every ore right now. I just want to see what I can make. Like I'm in a really like discovery. Let's find out what this does mood, you know? I guess the worm did run away. Ah, Pedgwin, do you play Enteraria mod? I have played it. That's one of the mods I have played. I haven't played many mods, but that is one of them I have. What is that? It looks like silver, but I'm not sure. It is. Alright. I'm gonna just dig down, because I see some sort of... area. Oh, it's the mushroom biome. That's what I thought it was, but I saw that green thing and I was really confused. I'm just gonna dig down to the, um... The biome down here. Yeah, Aji, you should um totally collab with um Ophelia. Ophelia is like a babe. Her art is fantastic. I've got it on my bleeding wall. You guys should see it when uh, whenever I go in the big, the big screen. Wait for me, water. Yes, I got it. I got there in time. That was between life and death right there. Oh. All right. Let's get rid of these traps first. First things first. Cloud in the bottle! Now that's one of my favorite items in the game. Oh! That was close. Cloud in the bottle, one of the best items in the game. Both of those, did you see that by the way guys? Both of those slimes got wrecked by the um... Please no. By the boulder. They got absolutely shrecked. It was all ogre for them. I'm just gonna take everything. I don't wanna die. I'm too young. See, I almost stood on that. Could have been could have been a dangerous. Alright, let's kill I always kill piranhas, you know why? They can drop a robot hat. Robot hats are cool. That was a skeleton. I thought it was a mining skeleton. If it was a mining skeleton, I probably would have be interested in fighting it. This is like a parkour map right here. Too bad I can't go any higher. Without mad tricks. Got some rope. Mad tricks confirmed. Pedgwin, it's called the Contagion biome. I like I like cough syrup biome more. It's filled with cough syrup for your I don't have any torches at all. Contagion biome. Contagion. Alright, I'll try and remember that. Thank you for telling me. I probably should look up things before I start jumping into the mod, but I don't know, I, I kind of like the whole discovery thing aspect to the game. Like, wow, what is this that I'm discovering? Wow, what is this? Like, it kind of just makes it interesting. Considering I've got like 2,000 hours in Terraria these days, like, finding new stuff is really, like, big to me. So playing a mod like this is going to be pretty cool. Ooh, this is good. I wonder if this will drop ore from that biome, like how it's coded or whatever because if you have a crimson world it would drop crimson or if you have an corruption we would drop corruption or etc etc like i wonder if it's coded like in a similar way wait what's that called silver slime is that gonna drop mad monies i'm gonna have to find out only one way how much hp does it have holy crap this thing is strong but it's a silver slime you know Stronger than the mother slime, but tenfold. You better drop mad money, as I expect at least a, like a hundred silver, aka a gold, from you. I'm gonna drown. Silver ore. Oh, dang! That is super sick. I wish that was in the real game. That's a really good idea. Silver ore, mate. That sounds. That's right up my alley. That's that's a really nice like. Damn. I know they already have like a million slimes in the game, but that one like has a pretty cool purpose. Like it's strong, but if you kill it, you get like mad loot. That's really cool. I wish that was actually in the real game. That's a really nice idea. That's super sick. That's super, that's super cool. I really do like that. It's really nice. Like, like I feel like developers can like, oh, what did I just get? A figment from flying creatures. I think this is a wing thing. I think this is in the normal game, right? I'm not like, it's not a mod. It's not from the mod, is it? I know there's a lot of wing things. Is this one of them? Or is this, I don't even know. Look at all this cobweb. 
Everyone in chat probably thinks I'm like taking all this cobweb because I'm gonna make molotovs because all I do is speed run with molotovs. What is all this stuff from bats? Bats are the best things ever. Part of a beast's body, a mis mis mystical object containing an unknown force. I'm getting so many things from bats. Like, come here, bats. I want to wreck you. Come, I want to kill everything now. If everything drops all this random stuff. I thought that I, I'm, I'm assuming this is figment from a flying creature. I thought it was like the wings sort of thing, but I, I I can understand now that it's not. I was completely wrong on that. I thought it was like when you find a harpy wing, you can get them pre-hard mode, so I just assumed it was that. So I guess it is like a, an actual material. Getting a lot of stuff. I can see the life crystal, guys. It's just I can't fly currently, so I have to go the long way, I'm afraid. If I could fly, I mean, I'd already have it, but you know. I know there's something or other. Oh my god, I'm getting too many items. I feel like my inventory's 